All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bracha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Citations to the elect out there, the hopeful elect scattered across the four corners of this earth, preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I want to say Shalom. This is Brother Chakam from the GMS Miami camp, composed to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to make this video, to make this lesson on being a watchman. All right, making thyself a watchman. All right. Make that self a watchman, you know. Um, real willing, this lesson is edifying. And before I go into the scriptures, I do want to point out that this is a commandment given to us by the Lord himself, all right? This is a commandment. Being a watchman is a commandment, all right? Especially in these days that we live in. You know, there's, uh, there's inflation going on on the rise. There's hyperinflation, all right? We got shortages of all kinds going on you know we got tampon shortages we got baby formula shortages we got shortages of cotton all right we got the dollar crumbling as we speak we got these big time ceos of these banks you know chase wells fargo telling us that they see a recession coming and it's not that it might happen. It is It is that it's going to happen. All right. There's World War Three brewing up across the other side of the world. There's wildfires going on. There's earthquakes. You know, the list goes on and on. And the reason why I'm able to bring that out, you know, is because the scriptures tells us that we're supposed to be as watchmen. All right. So right now is not the time to be lazy. Right now is not the time to kick your feet up, turn on Netflix all night, you know, and flick Cheeto crumbs off your chest and play an Xbox all day, you know, and, 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 and finding out what these women are up to. All right, right now it's not the time because we're living in those, we're living in these latter times, you know, we're living in the times of prophecy. We're living in the times of revelation, all right? So it's very important that we stay as watchmen in this thing. You know, be on point and be on diligent. Okay. Uh, I wanted to get the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 35. It says, Let your loins be girded about, and your light burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. All right, and who's that? That's Yahweh Shai. That's our Lord. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, that may open unto him immediately, all right? So we are like that bride that are waiting upon our Lord, you know? And our Lord is Yahweh Shai. You know, that's our head, all right? That's the divine order. So we're like that bride that are waiting for Yahweh Shai, uh, like as if it's our husband, you know? And pertaining to Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, you know, John the Revelator saw a vision that he saw Jerusalem coming down from the heavens as a bride adorned for her husband. All right, and before Jerusalem is a city or place, is actually a people. So what he actually saw was the elect. All right, so we are like that bride that are adorning ourselves for our husband, which is Yahweh Shai. You know, and we are adorning ourselves, you know, through repentance, through through the, through these scriptures, you know, and through fulfilling, uh, you know, our duties as men of the Lord, as servants. Okay, verse thirty-seven. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. All right, so the scriptures are telling us that blessed are those who are watching. All right, and they're calling us the servants. That's the elect. All right, the elect are going to be out here watching, being diligent. You know, always looking at what's going on. You know, worldly events. You know, the brothers in GMS, man, they don't sleep sometimes. Sometimes they're just constantly watching and watching the prophecies and connecting them with the scriptures, you know, making videos and lessons. That's why it's very important to watch. Because we don't really know what time the Lord is coming. All right? The scripture tells us the Lord is, is coming as a thief in the night. 
You know, that's why it's extremely important to watch and not be caught off guard in this thing. Okay? This is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Okay, and that fire, man, that, that fervent heat, it's the intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, and the scriptures are telling us here that the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. All right, and not even the Lord, Yahweh Shai, knows what time he's coming back. You know, only the Lord, Yahweh knows, his father. All right, so you want to be caught off guard, man. You want to be caught with your pants down when the Lord comes back. All right, you want to make sure that you're watching, that you're being up to date with the prophecies, that you're diving into the, the worldly events. You know, that you look looking into what's going on. You know, as soon as you wake up, you pray, boom, you go into you go into what the news are going on about. Okay? That's the importance of watching. Alright? So, um, you know, the, the scriptures emphasize that. You know, one thing about, you know, this truth is it's not just about going out to the highways and byways, putting on a garment with fringes on and just prophesy. You know, it just doesn't stop there. You have to Continue to watch. You got to be a watchman. That is a foundation of uh, of this truth is being a watchman because you, you need to be informed. All right. As men of the Lord, we are the most informed people on this earth. OK, so the Lord is coming back as a thief in the night, as per the scripture says, you know, that's thus said the Lord. This is the book of first Thessalonians chapter five, verse two. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right. And what happens when you're sleeping and the, and, the, and the thief comes in at night? You get caught off guard. You don't know what's going on. You're not ready. And guess what happens? You know, you get judged. You know, you get your judgment. All right. So we don't want to be caught off guard. We want to make sure that we're knowing the times that we're living in. We want to be informed. We want to be up to date with uh, headlines, you know. If we find something that's very interesting, let's go ahead and we'll send it to other brothers, all right? The order in the group chat. You know, it's very important that we stay up to date and we continue to stay watching because, hey, that's a commandment the Lord told us to do. So it's very important that we, you know, we continue to watch. That is a very, found, that's, that's the basic foundation of something that we need to have in this truth. All right? Because the Lord, see, the Lord's not going to come down. The Lord's not coming down. The Lord's not coming down from his throne and giving us a countdown, man. He's not going to tell us, all right, two days left. Put it on your clocks. Put it on your alarms. All right? Hey, the Lord is coming back as a thief in the night. And for those who do not know what time it is, they're going to be caught out there, right? And they're going to be judged. You know? That's going to be these heathens and these two damn, these two thirds, man. All right, so it's very important, again, that, you know, that's why the scriptures emphasize that we watch and we stay watching because blessed is he that watcheth, all right? Blessed is he that readeth too. All right, this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. All right, so we don't know when the time is coming that the Yahweh Shai is returning. All right? For the Son of Man is a is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And that's in capitals. All right, so there it is again. You know, the scriptures are telling us to continue to watch. Okay, because we don't know the time that Yahweh Shai is coming. Like as I mentioned before, you know, we only only the Lord knows. Only Yahweh knows. Not even Yahweh Shai knows what time is coming back. All right, and when I mention this, I'm talking to myself first and foremost. You know, being diligent, being on point. You know, right now is not the time to be lazy. You know, right now is we're living in the times of revelations, the times of prophecies. You know, so these are the times there where we got to gird up our loins and we need to dive into these headlines. 
all right we know that sometimes we might have work and other stuff that's going on in our lives but we can't forget that hey the basic commandment is one of the basic commandments is to watch all right and and, it, and it's easy you know we got something called a, a smartphone right in our in our pockets you know we we got a, a super computer in our pocket so there's no excuses right now all right so right now is not the time to be slacked. Right now is not the time to be lazy, or indulging in the earthly pleasures and uh, the earthly pleasures that this damn wicked ass society has to offer, man. Right now is the time to actually be on point, be diligent, be looking at the prophecies, you know, going into the headlines, seeing what the worldly events are going on, see what brothers are sending. All right, because the signs are all over the place. All right, famines, earthquakes, shortages. We in those times. So right now is very important that we watch and that we stay watching. All right? Because, you know, when, when the Lord returns, you know, we don't want to be caught off guard, like as I mentioned before. You want to make sure we got that covering of your house shy. You want to make sure we got that exemption of, of judgment, that salvation, all right? Let's get that up. Let's get that in the book of Revelation, chapter 16. And then we'll close out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. All right. So it's important that we make sure that we keep our, our garments, you know, on. And that's the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The mark of exemption, all right? To get salvation. All right? And, 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 and the scriptures are telling us again, it's blessed is he that watcheth. You know, so it's very important that we continue to, you know, stay on top of uh, the worldly events. See what's going on internationally, domestically. You know, make that as part of our jobs. Okay. All right. So, hey, just wanted to bring that out, man, to continue watching, you know, continue to being on top of your, your game. All right. Continue being diligent, being on point, being informed because we're living in those times. And there's anything that we're going to do in these times is we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to do what we got to do to make sure that, you know, when Yahweh Shah returns, we, we, we're we going to actually be ready for it, all right? And Lord willing, you know, I, I'm one of those elect. That's why I am make sure I'm doing my due diligence to make my calling of election sure. And part of that is watching. Okay, so, hey amen. With that, you know, I want to say, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. Once again, I hope this lesson was edifying. I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.